quick disclaimer before we get started. These opinions are mine. You may have your own opinions. I probably won't agree with those. Oh no, it's the Ranty Rider. Run! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. And uh, I'm going to have a little bit of a talk today about something useful. Behind me, you can see a bike on the centre stand. And here, we have a can opener. Now, the alternative to a centre stand is a paddock stand like one of these. They're a big faff. A centre stand is useful and it's always on the bike. There's also an alternative to a can opener. It's one of these. A little can opener attachment on a multi-tool. But the can openers are a lot easier to use. A bit like a centre stand compared to a paddock stand. First job, lubricating and adjusting the chain. Bike on centre stand, back wheel free to move. Doddle to lubricate the chain takes a couple of minutes. Doesn't involve balancing your bike on the side stand then trying to get it onto a paddock stand and back off again. You just simply use the bit on the bike. Again with chain adjustment, put it on the centre stand, easy. You can try and do it on the side stand, a lot of messing about, a lot of pushing the bike backwards and forwards to check everything. Need to get a new back tyre and you want to take the wheel out? Quite simple, on the centre stand, not on a paddock stand, get the tyre out. You can do that on a paddock stand as well, so I'm not fully discounting paddock stands just yet. Some things you can't do with a paddock stand. Suspension. If your rear shock ever has a problem, like mine did on the Hornet after 90 odd thousand miles, and you need to get the shock out to get a new bearing into it, how are you going to do that with a paddock stand? This end of the bike is wanting to go up when you take the shock absorber out, so you can't do the job. Aha, I hear you say, what about the Abbas stands? These ones fit on the swing arm pivots. I've tried one, I nearly put a police BMW on its back, putting one on a paddock, onto an Abbas stand, and the mechanic said, you don't need to use that much force. They're, they're nice and easy to use. But if you ever need to take the pin out for lubrication of the bearings for the swing arm, say, how are you gonna do that? There's an Abbas stand in the way. You're not gonna be able to do it. Centre stand? You can get at it. Aha, I hear you say, but how do you get a front wheel out if you haven't got paddock stands? It's quite easy. You put a bit of weight on the back of the bike, rock it to what, so the back wheel's on the floor, and you get the front wheel out. That's how I do it. It's dead easy. Got a centre stand. Don't have to mess about with two paddock stands. Now why do I compare a centre stand to a can opener? As you've seen, a centre stand can do a lot of jobs. A can opener can only open a can. But if you've got lots of different cans, you can get your meal out of it. It's quite simple, can of soup, can of something for your main course, a couple of cans of peas and other vegetables, then a can of fruit for your dessert. Job done, all with one tool, multitude of needs fulfilled. Why aren't centre stands on more bikes? It's because they let the designers at them, not the engineers. There's a big difference between the two. A designer makes it look pretty, an engineer makes it good. Another thing that a centre stand is useful for is if you own a 900 Hornet. If you leave it on the side stand and you get a slow puncture like I did, it will fall over. But weirdly, it will fall over to the right hand side, not the left hand side. Because as the rear tyre lets the bike sit further down at the back, the centre stand, which is already at quite an angle, as it, the bike sinks down, over it goes. Mine fell against the lawnmower and the garage wall and luckily it was undamaged. I'd been out on the Sunday, on the Tuesday, strong smell of petrol when I got home, look in the garage, bike over at about 30 degrees. Not what you really want to see. But again, putting it on the centre stand prevents this. Okay, so what about getting the front wheel out? It's quite simple, you put some weight on the back of the bike, it says, 